what's up everybody, Get Beef Done, and I'm going to give you another Sony Vegas tutorial. Um, I might have put it in the video before, it matters how long this uh, tutorial is. If it's too long, I'll just put the link in the description. What you're going to want to do is, you'll, you know, have a clip, and, like, and it, like, it will light up the people. So, it will go right here then like it would light the person up in a different color and you probably saw it in the thing so what you would want to do actually is so you got to where you wanted it make sure it's not a blurry thing so like right about there would be a good one and what you would want to do is go right up here the save snapshot file click that and it doesn't matter what it is and then when you save it it automatically goes straight into your um your project media so that's pretty good then of course you would go to that spot you'd split the clip then of course you'd pull the rest of it out grab your image pull that in and why is that so freaking long please excuse me <laughs> oh this is for when the image is still course. Then what you would want to do, actually you'd, uh, shit, insert video track, copy, um, okay. Alright, there we go, so we got both of these, then you'd go to event pan slash crop, and then you'd go to mask, and then, well, this does not look that good, but then you would just simply start outlining the person. There you go, you got your in, your person right there. Feather type, I put it to out. Then, uh, feather percent, uh, like two. You can change it, like, it doesn't really matter. And then what you would do is you'd go to video effects, uh, color balance, and then you could use any color. Um, I'm gonna use teal, because I like teal, I don't know why. And then what you could do is either uh, go frame by frame in the keyframing to uh, make it flash, or you could go frame by frame here, or maybe three frames, split it, three frames, split it, cut. Yeah, you know, you just do that main concept. Shit. Yeah, you just continue doing that. And then there you go, it would flash. I don't know if it's going to look that well when I preview it. And then, of course, you would want to add in a fade, really small, f really small crossfade. It's like okay. I definitely zoomed in way too much. You're like a one frame crossfade, so that it can go in well. And of course, if you want to do, you know, say like target or something, then you would go into media generators, go into text, default text, 
and then you would put you know, target put it in a text you like I don't know why but I just like that text yeah, and then you could just simply go to placement put it right there and then if you wanted you could do like the same color or something so you could be like that and then you know just end up splitting it so it'll be sort of like this of course if you were to sync it up with music it would look it would be a little bit better but um yeah, that's really all she said. Uh, that sounded really gay. <laughs> Alright, um, thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any tutorial requests or suggestions, uh, either send me a personal message or leave me a comment. And I will see you guys later.